All right, guys. Great week. Now we got some fun stuff. It's going to be good. All right, so Saturday, 328. We'll get a little zoomage, see what we have going on. Got a couple warm ups here. This is going to be the main warm up before we do anything. If we're doing the at home wide today, kind of partner wide, we get a little extra something in there to kind of prep you for the, for the workout itself. Um, let's go over the first part. All right, so three minutes jumping jacks, standing windmills, squats, push ups. I'm going to do four of each. All right, so we get your jumping jack coming up, get your jumping jack. From there, we're going to come down to have those arms out wide for your standing windmills. And we come right back up. We're gonna get a couple there. And then we're gonna bring those feet in a little closer. Find that squat width. Knees out, chest up tall. We'll get you four. And then shake it out a little bit. We'll come down for your push-ups. Cool, and then you keep repeating. Three minutes, 10 of each. All right, so if we're gonna to choose to do the home wide, um, home wide today is gonna to be a partner DT. It's gonna be fun. We'll get to that in a second. We're gonna prep the movement. First part is single leg RDLs. You could hold the weight if you want, don't necessarily have to. We're gonna come down, tap that floor, come right back up if that's a little tough. Come down as I lose my balance. Come down, just past your knee just to kind of get that hinge motion of the hips. Uh, next part from there, some invisible hang power cleans. Keep those thumbs on you, chest is up tall. We're just gonna jump and catch. Come right back down. Shoulders cover your imaginary 300 pound bar. And then we can come back down from there, strip press. Grab onto the weight that you choose for the day. Elbows in front, ribs squeeze down. Add those presses. Cool. So. At home wide, we have your team wide. One minute on, one minute off. Goes for 20 minutes, partner DT. So DT, we've done that with barbell in here. It's, it's one of my favorites, it's pretty fun. Um, so it's gonna be good to do some, uh, some partner works with that. All right, so first move. It's a complex of 12, nine, six, 12 deadlifts. I'm using the torpedo today. So I'm gonna come down, tap that floor, come right back up. All right, so I end up doing 12. From there, I'm at the top, and I'm just gonna jump and catch without punching myself in the chin. I'm gonna be right up my knees, and then from there, it's shoulder to overhead. You can go strict if you want. I wouldn't suggest it, but you can get a push press. You can also get a push jerk, all right? So, you finish that off, your partner picks it up from there. One minute of work, one minute rest. Keep on repeating, 20 minutes. All right, you just pick up where you left off as many rounds as you can. Endurance wide, it's an EMOM, 30 minutes. I'll let you uh, kind of zoom in on my chicken scratch a little bit. Um, minute number one, just regular jogging. All right, so you're just jogging it out for that minute. Minute two starts, you're sprinting. You have seven seconds going hard. Let's see your um, sprint. And then we're just getting that, getting that sprint in. Um, that was fast, so be careful. Um, Flash. Keep up. Um, Flash. So, Seven second sprint, and then you jog the rest of the way of that remaining time in that minute. And then from there, when minute three starts, you're gonna go at 15 seconds of your mile pace. So you're gonna be pushing it a little bit more. You're gonna go at your mile pace, and then after that 15 seconds, you jog again. So we have a couple different ways of kind of knocking it out, a couple different energy systems to kind of work with for your endurance. Um, 30 minutes should be fun, lots of running. Okay, so we got either one of these choices. We'll be here cheering you guys on, and we're gonna knock it out ourselves too, so it should be fun. Let's go. Let's go.